but for allowing us to congregate in order to receive from him. I tell you, you will never go back the same. In Jesus' name. He's so faithful. Lift your right hand and say this. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for allowing me to come into your presence. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my life and the length of my days. The Lord is my life and the length of my days. I believe in the word of God. I trust in the word of God. I hope in the word of God. I am a covenant child. I have a covenant with God to bless me and prosper me. The blessings of Abraham has come upon me. I am a seed of Abraham. My hands are anointed to make wealth. I am anointed child of God. I am anointed child of God. My hands are anointed to make wealth. The word of God is a lamp unto my feet, a light unto my path. The word of God is my parish. The word of God is my banner. I believe in the word of God. I trust in the word of God. I can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Jesus Christ who, who strengthens me. I, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob is my defense. He has heard my prayer from his holy mountains and he has answered my, my prayer from his holy heavens in Jesus name. Put your hands together for Jesus. That is, let's let's go through some few few scriptures before let's yes take open it and let's i believe in the word let's go through some few scriptures let's go to the book of job chapter 8 22 through 20 through 22 the book of job job the book of job 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 is in the old testament job chapter 8, 20 through 22, Job. Job. Before I bring the teaching, let's go through Job. Job, yes. Uh, there is, are you there? Okay. Yes, 20 through 22. Job. Job. You can write the scriptures down and look at me. I just want to explain certain things. Then after that, we would uh, we'll go to the main uh, topic. I just want to bring out some 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 scriptures too. As to uh -huh. Job, uh -huh. behold, mm -hmm. God will not cast away the blameless. Yes, nor will He uphold the evildoers. That's right. He will yet mm -hmm. fill your mouth with yes. laughing. He says He will fill your mouth with a la laughing, uh -huh. and your lips. With rejoicing. He says, it will fill your lips with rejoicing. Uh -huh. Those who hate you. He says, those who hate you. Will be clothed with shame. Will be called a shame. And the dwelling place of the wicked. And the dwelling place of the wicked. Will come to nothing. Will come to nothing. When we finish, add amen so that I will know you finish. Amen. Uh -huh. As soon as we do that, I know you finish. Amen. Let's, let's uh, also go to the book of Psalms. Psalms, Psalm one, verse one to three, the book of Psalms. Sorry, Psalm, sorry, Psalm fifty, Psalm fifty-six, verse eleven. Let's go to Psalm fifty-six, verse eleven. Psalm fifty-six, verse eleven. Psalm fifty-six, verse eleven. In God, mm -hmm. I have put my trust. Mm -hmm. 
I will not be afraid. Mm -hmm. What, what can, can a man, man do, do to, to me? me? Amen. Amen. Whoever puts his trust in the Lord, fear is not your portion. What can a man do to you? He says, in, in God, I will put my trust. I will hope in the Lord. He says, in God, that I will put my trust. I will not fear. What can a man do to me? See, in Africa, we have learned to hope in the Lord, we have learned to trust in the Lord and to believe the Lord for everything that we have received. It's not like here. I keep telling people in Africa, we don't have government. We have God. In America, you have government, but I don't think you have God because we depend on God 100% for even a one decent meal a day. So we understand what the Bible says, in God I will put my trust. I will hope in the Lord. Because in Africa, uh, one doctor is equal to 5,000 people. 5,000. 5,000. So you can imagine. So you need to believe and trust in the Lord for your divine health or your divine healing. So scriptures are really fulfilled in Africa, not in America. America, thank God, you have government. Everything has been laid down for the citizens. So uh, it's like they, they, some, some of them even believe and trust their government more than God because they will tell you our government will do it. <laughs> I, I, I hear a lot of Americans say our government will do it. <laughs> but I say my God will do it. <laughs> Amen. Okay, so let's, let's go through the last one and then I will bring them. I mean, let's go to the book of Job again. Job chapter 22, 23 through 29. Job again. Job 22. Job. Job 22. 23 through 29. If you return mm -hmm. to the Almighty, mm -hmm. you will be built up. He says, if, if you want to be built up, the only principle or the only thing that you need to do is to return to the Almighty God. It is He alone that can build. Once you want God to build you up, then you need to return to God. He says, if you if if you return to God, then He will build you up. And 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 when God talks about building somebody up. It's 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 a whole sermon, but the the short and the long story is that if you want to be built up in any any area of your life or in any department of your life, then what you ought to do is to return to the Lord. Amen. Uh -huh. You will remove iniquity far from your tent. You will remove iniquity far from your tent. Uh huh. Then you will lay your gold in dust. Then you will lay your gold in dust. Uh -huh. And the gold of Ophir. And the gold of Ophir. Among the stones of the brooks. Among the stones of the brook. Uh -huh. Yes, mm -hmm. the Almighty will be your gold. Yes, the Almighty God will be your gold. Uh -huh. And your precious silver. And your precious silver. For then mm -hmm. you will have your delight it in says, the Almighty. For then you will have your delight in and your almighty God. And lift up your face to God. And lift up your face to God. And you will make your prayer you to make, him. You will make your prayer to him. He will hear you. He will hear you. And you will pay your vows. And you will pay your vows. You will also declare things. You will also declare things. And it will be established it for will, you. It will be established for you. So light will shine uh -huh. on your ways. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Then finally, we want to look at the book of Proverbs chapter, Proverbs chapter 15, 26. Then Proverbs 15, 26. Yes, Proverbs. Uh -huh. Proverbs 6, uh, 15, 1, 5, verse 26. The thoughts of the wicked mm -hmm. are an abomination to the Lord, mm -hmm. but the words of the pure mm -hmm. are pleasant. That's right. 
Amen. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Tonight, we would, uh, I will teach. Then after that, I will minister. In fact, tonight, I'm going to anoint everybody. But I will minister healing and deliverance. Last night, we thank God that God really dealt with us kindly. The Lord really blessed us. The Lord really took care of us. And this morning, I, I, one or two people called me and they were really testifying about what the Lord did last night. And today, the anointing will, will be increased in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because we believe that nobody comes to the Lord and then go back the same. Whoever has come here, he has come to the Lord and your expectation will never be cut off because he is Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Put your hand together for Jesus. Now let's let's now start. Let me let me give you. Let's let uh, last night by the grace of God we looked at the sensual marine. Today we want to look at the the next one. No, whatever. If you want to stand, you can say. If you want to sit, you can you can sit. But. Mm-hmm. Star Marine. No, hold on. Let Wait me. for you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Amen. Last night we looked at Sensual Marine or Marine Jezebel. I told you that the reason why they are called Marine Spirit is that they live in water. Anything that has something to do with water. It is termed as marine. That is why we have marine submarines and marine engineers and marines and marines. So these spirits that I mentioned last night lives in water. And because they live in water, they are called marine spirit. And like Dr. Part was saying, some of the spirits do not live in water. They inhabit the land. And some of them also live in the forest and some of the demons also stayed in the second heavens you know we have three different type of heavens we have the ghost throne and then we have the second heaven our eyes cannot behold and then the first heavens the first heavens is where the stars and everything is where our eyes can behold and the bible talks about the spiritual wickedness in the higher places and he's talking about the second heavens because that is where satan and his demons uh, inhabited, and that is where all the the manipulations goes on, all the psychic computers and all the things go on there. That is where major decision uh, is being taken concerning destruction in nations and etc. That is where the major decision uh, is being uh, uh, cons- considered. And so that place is a, a high-powered demonic. Uh, 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 habitation and tonight too I will want to also talk about a star another form of marine spirit which really disturbs us and our kids I want to talk about children I don't think I will be traveling out out of this town this week because uh, uh, so if I confirm it probably on Friday Saturday we can have a meeting, then on Sunday, we'll finish on Sunday morning or Sunday evening. I don't think I would be able to go uh, because um, I, was, I, was to, I was to go to Augusta to go and minister, but the job is too, too much. I'll, I'll, I'll get tired, so I don't think I'll, I'll, I'll want to do that. So I have really asked them to uh, shadow me for next week so that I can still rest because... To take care of about more than sixty thousand people is is, is not easy. <laughs> so I kind of want to slow down a bit in America and just lay down in my house and sleep. There's no mosquito, so you can. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> there's no mosquitoes. I, I can so I I I didn't take up the challenge because I wouldn't be able to uh, do it because the people have already lined up and they call me today. They say, Bishop, you know, you have about the first day you have about three hundred people. The second day I say I'm not even coming at all. I can't go through this because I'm already a bit tired. So uh, I would still want to be in Jacksonville, the city of excellence. <laughs> Uh, wherever I go, I say Jacksonville is the city of Salem. Uh, that is where God blessed me with a house. This is where I find my beautiful house, and this is where I find Dr. Pat. So I, I God uh, strategically put me here so that I don't uh, see snow, and you know. <laughs> <laughs> so God is in, in in his in his wisdom has put me in the city of excellence. So I I, I love this city, and it's my it's my this is my name, my second home. So. You say, he I like I like the Jaguars. When when they are playing and I'm in in Africa watching CNN, I say this is my team, Jaguars. <laughs> yes, yes, and this is my team. So I will want to still rest because I'm really tired. And and deliverance is not easy. I I tell you, it is when I have parts beside me and and when the demons are down, he do the order. Casting and I take all the money. That's how we have. We have. <laughs> Amen. So, so I don't think I would move out town. I would really want to have a lot of rest. But to be ministering like this, it doesn't affect me because we are few. Yes. So yes, we would want to do probably uh, Thursday, Friday. Uh, Saturday and Sunday, people are traveling from Chicago. They want to come and see me. They are, they are coming, so I'll, I'll bring them to the church in the in the, in the morning. So probably we'll do. Uh, today is Monday. I'll rest tomorrow. I rest th uh, Wednesday, and we'll start on Thursday. Do you want to come in Africa? We're excited when we are ministering because we know what 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 it is. So we'll, we'll start on Thursday because I have I have a lot of stuff to teach. So we'll start again on Thursday evening, on Friday evening, on Saturday evening, and then on Sunday morning, and on Sunday evening, then we'll finish. Then probably Tuesday I can't hop to uh, 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 Augusta to also see the people there. So I'm not leaving this week because I can't, the way they are scaring me about the people, I don't think I want to meet them now. I'm not ready to meet them now. Yes, so so I would I wouldn't go this this week. Amen. So I want to talk about a demon called Star. Now, when I'm talking about, when I'm talking about these things, that is what the Lord told me. When nobody spoke anything concerning Jesus to me, you couldn't at, at, at that time. I was so strong and so powerful that even Christians were afraid of me. So you couldn't come to me. And then witness to me and said, Jesus loves you. You, you. you couldn't. And my conversion was, was, was God himself. In fact, if it were a human being who witnessed to me to go to church and I went, I would have come back. Because when I got born again and I went to church, I met a lot of witches and was that sitting in the church. So I told the pastor, but I want to quit and come now I have come to meet my colleagues here. They will destroy me because they will know I have stopped. So I'm not coming. Do you understand? So I, I didn't hurt anybody to come to me and say, Jesus loves you. It is the Lord himself who appeared to me in my room three times. And the last time, I haven't seen him before. And you know, like I told you, in my position... I killed a lot. We killed a lot. But I don't remember killing any white man. So when the Lord appeared to me with the tongues, the crown of tongues and the blood, I was telling the pastor, even though I killed, but I don't remember killing any white person. But this man comes to me with this. I didn't know who the, the person was. So I was saying, you see, when he appears to me, my jaw is locked, so I can't scream in, in the night. I'll only be looking at him. Because my jaw is locked. I can't open my, my, my mouth. So in the morning, I'll report to my pastor that this night, 
I saw a white person with the tons of crown and then the, the blood on their hands. And, but I don't remember killing any white person. I didn't know. <laughs> Do you understand? Then the pastor would say, okay, you don't worry, let's pray. Then it happened twice. It was the third time that he spoke. The third time he said, for this reason, like he said, for this reason that I came to the cross, that your sins may be forgiven. All that you have done is forgiven. I will remember no more. But I now want you to go to my churches and tell them what I have done and tell them what is happening in the realm of the Spirit because I am coming soon. So the third day he spoke, and that night I got up and went to the pastor and said, the white man had been talking to you. I haven't killed him. He has said something. So I told what he told me to my pastor. So the following day, they prayed with me. So that's how I got born again. I was held by the hand. You see, in the realms of the spin, when you are serving the devil, you are not allowed to rest for two hours, more, more than two, 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 two hours. At least, and at most, two hours. But that fateful day, I didn't have a duty. I didn't have anything. It was my free day. And the free day is only five hours. That is free. So I have gone to club. I have come to the house. I have got into my room around 1.30. Got to bed. Started sleeping. 2.33, somebody woke, woke, woke me up. I mentioned my name. So I got up. You see, in the devil's kingdom, it is do before you complain. You don't complain before. You have to do it later you complain. So when they called me, I said to myself, but today I don't have any assignment. Nobody has given me any assignment. Well, but it's do before you complain. So what happened is that when you hear this calling and you get up and you stand on your feet, the first thing you do is you contact, you'll have to contact the east I don't want to mention the term. You will understand. You will have to contact the is because all the instructions and all the things that you receive it comes from the east. That that is why all the occult comes from the east. You know all the occultic churches, uh, um, uh, Masonic uh, lodges, and Guru Maharaji and Lanson Rampani all from the east. So when I got up that day, I did my usual thing. Nobody was listening. Nobody was answering. Nobody was responding. Then it is not normal. So I started getting uh, f f frightened. Then I turned from the east. I went to the west. Nobody was re responding. Then I exhorted the south, both then finally, when you, were, when you are there, my position allows me to now get into the middle. Now, in the middle, you don't understand what I'm talking about. In the middle, it is only the high-powered wizards and high-powered, like grandmasters. Those who sit on, 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 thro on thrones and those who sit on white horses are only allowed to get into the middle. It's a, it's a point. Now, I have contacted all the four and nobody is talking so I needed to know what is happening and I qualified so I, I, I entered into the space I got to the middle and nobody was there so I, come, I came back and I, I went back to bed again then about four the, the, my, my, my name was men mentioned arise, arise, get up, get up and I, didn't, I did not know the differences between the voice of God and Satan because I have never heard the voice of God before, I told you out of my house, nobody has gone to church before. Started from my great-great-grandfather to my great-grandfather to my grandfather. Nobody has entered into a church before. We don't, we have nothing to do with church. So I don't know anything about, I haven't had any experience. Or I don't know anything about anybody called Jesus. So then he says, go and take your bath. But our dealings or our activities, the taking bath has nothing to do with our activities. So this one too was a strange instruction. We don't bath. In fact, if you don't, we don't bath. We, if you don't bath, I was allowed to 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 bath once once in a month. 
get into a river without sponge, without soap, get up, stand there, you will dry and you will go. So go to bath or go and take your bath was something that I have never heard before <laughs> since I was born. <laughs> so <laughs> what is this voice coming from? So it was very, very serious and very, very strange. So I was compelled to go and I told you in the devil's kingdom, obedience, if you want to live and su survive, you always have to obey. So I obeyed and I went to the bathroom. When I was even bathing, people were sup sup surprised. <laughs> I, everything I did was not normal to people. The normal things that people do, when I do it, it becomes abnormal. I don't bath. <laughs> so when I went to the bathroom to bath, it became abnormal. So kids were looking at me because they have never seen me taking my bath before. After that, he says, I should dress up. I did it. Then I heard my voice go to Assembly of God Church. Now, in Africa, a church like Assembly of God, they are very spiritual. It's not like here. Very, very, very strong. Assembly of God, very strong. So I was, I said, then I said, I started arguing. I said, you know we don't strike at daytime. Because if you do that, it will be amounted to murder. And we have the laws of the land that will take care, care of that. So we don't murder physically, but we murder spiritually. As for spiritual, nobody can come and say, you killed him. Then whilst I was arguing, I felt a very big hand at the back of my pants raise me like this. My legs was like this, and he was pushing me. Now, I realized that it was a different power altogether because when they finally held me and pushed me out of my room, all the demons started hooting at me. Shame, shame, oh, shame. Then I realized something has happened. But I still don't, didn't get a clue. I still didn't know what was going on. I've told you I don't know anything about God. So when they started hooting, I didn't understand. They were hooting. The, I knew my people have, my, the demons have forsaken me. But I didn't know what was going on. Because there you would brainwash and, and you would you be in, indoctrinated and brainwash that there's no power. Because what I did, <laughs> I tell you, somebody at that age, 13, 14, can leave my body and represent my father in India in the New World Order and come back. So you can Im imagine. When I look at you, I see all your intentions. Mm, and if I want to just kill you, I put my hand spiritually into your belly, pull out your intestines. You, it takes only 25 minutes. I leave you there. You walked 25 minutes. You just fall there and said, they'll say, what is happening? They say, my tummy, my tummy. By the time you are landed at the hospital, you are, you are a dead person. It was easy. Do you understand? So, so when I talk about power, I used to have power. So I didn't know what any power that is stronger and powerful than what I know. So I couldn't differentiate between what was happening to me, another higher power than what I have. But like I said, I was compelled to go because I have no choice. Held me, lifted my two, my two feet, and I was tiptoeing to the church. And, and it's, it's interesting. When I go to the church, it was a worship time. I entered and the pastor says, everybody should stop worshiping. I, when I got there, it's a chair like this and a table. And I put my head there because something was doing. Then the pastor says, this, somebody has come here to challenge the power of God. We need to pray. Let's release the fire of God, the Holy Ghost fire. He's uh, answering God for fire. God is an answering uh, uh, fire, uh, 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 the answering, he answered by fire. And in Africa, we have a lot of powerful deliverance songs. It's, 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 not, it's, 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 it's not like here. We have a powerful deliverance song that we sing. So this, 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 they started, my God answered by fire. And Africa, when we begin to worship God, it takes two hours. It's not like here. 
Everybody gets involved, sweat. It's not like people sitting there and they don't want. Then they started, my God, answer it by fire. Elijah, 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 Bombaya, Bojan, it means, see, Elijah prayed and fire came. Elijah Bompaya, Bojan Imra, Elijah Bompaya. Everybody, and you, you think the aircraft are just taking off because there are many, and everybody, Elijah, that fire, they, they sing. You don't understand? They, so they release powerful demonic songs, a powerful de deliverance song. We know no defeat. We know no defeat. Jesus is our captain, and we know no defeat. We know no defeat. We know no defeat. Jesus is our captain, and they will sing with, with faith. You understand what I'm saying? So things begin to happen. Then, whilst I was there, I started feeling the fire. Hey, I tell you, I started feeling the heat. Then, after some time, they stop, and then they preach the word. That's what the first time I got to know that somebody called Nebuchadnezzar, he was turned into a beast seven years because he wanted to challenge God. So they used Nebuchadnezzar as me. They said, wait, wait, even Nebuchadnezzar, who wanted to challenge God? God turned him into a beast. <laughs> he, was, <laughs> he, was, he was feeding the grass for seven years. I didn't know. That, that was the first time I heard on the grass. I, was, I, I said, eh? There is some power who has turned somebody into beast. I was one day I heard from the beast for se se seven years. Then when they finished, said, "Okay, you come and whoever want to come and receive Jesus must come." Then the hand raised me again like this. I tiptoeing. When I was going, the pastor said, "Stand there. Whoever want to mock God, God will prove to him that he is God." Meanwhile, you have made the altar call. And I am coming, and you are asking me to stand there. <laughs> so eventually, I received Jesus. And then, when I got in, when I finished, the hand didn't left me. At 1.30 in the afternoon, he pushed me into my room, and then I fell asleep. And that was where I saw like I, told, I saw Jesus, I saw some white man with their tons of crown and blood was coming from here, blood was coming from here and he showed me for the first time and my jaw was locked and I said, I don't remember killing any white man, I remember, I said I don't remember killing any white person if it were black I would agree but I don't, I don't remember then he repeated the second day, he didn't also say anything then on the third day he spoke he says he has chosen me as a, a vessel and that I should go and tell his people what I have done, what uh, I have used my hand and what I have seen and what I have learned. I say, hey, he's coming soon, very, very, very soon. And so it was after that then the full gospel business men fellowship came to uh, Ghana. And so they were looking for, you know, there they don't preach, they, they give testimony. So they were looking for somebody to give his testimony. They said, hey, there is a young man who has a very wonderful testimony. They said, go get him. When they brought me there and then I opened my mouth, and the man was sitting like this. The, the American man was sitting like this, and I was like this. And when I started, he got up like this. He said, my God. And then he sat here. <laughs> then I started, he got up. He said, my God. Then he, then, then he sat here. <laughs> yeah, do you much? Yes. Yes, he got up. He sat. He was sitting someplace by heart. He would sit here and leave and sit here and leave here and sit here and leave. Because what I was telling him was, he hasn't heard before. He hasn't, he doesn't know what I'm talking about. So, well, then they told him, yes, this is what he was doing. We, we know him. So, he actually really made me popular because I started, they started using me in the whole of Africa. And so, that is how I got born again. And that is how, that is why I'm very careful. Very, very, because in our dispensation, the enemy is using 
contamination and then pollution. And, and if you are being polluted and being contaminated, your prayer will not even get to the ceiling because we have a certain spirit called Anem. They are in charge of swallowing prayers and holding, keeping the, the prayer. So if you pray, the release is Anem. The duty of Anem is to make sure that you collect your prayer. The prayer would not go. But do you remember that Daniel prayed? The Bible says the first day he prayed, God gave him the answer. But Persia prevented him from going to Daniel. It took 21 days. So we have Annam. Annam is, 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 is a demon who is solely responsible for making sure that people's prayer does not go up. That is why God, in his wisdom, introduced something like offering and tithe. As for tithe and offering, nothing can come between it. As soon as you give, it goes direct. Not, nothing stops it. So there are certain things that if you want it fast, you don't even pray. You just have to give your tithe or so you sow your seed. Uh -huh. So Anam is the one who collects people's prayer. You pray and you come and take it. He will look at you and say, my friend, already you are contaminated. What, what, what do you think you, you are doing? Then you, you collect your play. You collect it. Then you could collect it. So, so I knew that all these demons were there to make sure that they frustrate Christians. That's so. Now, so when I was there, I have to be introduced to three different places in order to become very, very powerful. Because when a water spirit strikes somebody and they bring the person to me, I should be able to heal the person. That is fake. We call it traditional casting. We would, if it is your head is paining you, we will take the demon from your head and give you a bigger one that can control you. Either you, we will let you smoke or drink or we will put something on your leg. So even though the head is not there, but it has come to your leg. It's a trick. We call it traditional casting. But people don't know. And, and so I have to have contact with them in the sea. Then forest, we have forest demon. We have Dada in the, f the, the forest. I have to also go there and make treaty, covenant, so that when a forest demon also strikes somebody, I can deceive the person. So that is why I went into the sea. When I got into the forest, like the dwarf spirit, there were two different types of dwarf spirit. We have the regular dwarf spirit that knows human beings. These Masonic and lodges, they use them, so they are familiar with people. Then we have some, some they haven't seen a human being before. They are very far. They really tormented me. Then after that, I got to this. I, I remember the first day, my father took me to the shore, seashore. I vomited because it was I vomited. So he took, he sent me back, got me some concussion, drank so many things. Then after a month, we went there again. When we put, when I put my my my, my feet into the sea, the sea parted into two. Then I find myself in a very beautiful city, like I said, very organized, well arranged city. The skyscrapers, I haven't, I haven't seen some before. The, the way the place is neat and the way the place has been arranged and disciplined and ordered, I haven't seen some before. And I said, then I will dwell here some more. And that is why I saw all the activities of demons, all the activities of principalities, all the activities of powers, all the activities of rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in the higher places. That is where I saw all those big, big business tycoons from all over the world. Those who want to become president and senators, mayors. I saw them there. Very famous actors and uh, act, uh, actors. Very, very famous people, very influential people in the world. I saw them there. Very. Now, a country like America, you cannot have a presidency if you're not in the clique. 
no way. You are just wasting your time. America, Britain, Europe, America, you are wasting your time. I keep telling people, do you, do you, these guys are just wasting I I saw somebody, he says, I'm a Christian. He, says, he wants to be a, a, a presidential candidate. I was laughing. I said, you, you don't know what you're talk, talk, talking about. You think these are the people, unless you belong to the clique, else you can never. Because they control all the presidents in the world. They are being controlled. And you take orders and decisions from them, whether you like it or not, else you will die. I was there. I have stopped mentioning Neil because one day somebody followed me from Jacksonville to, I think, Chicago. When he got to the church, he said, he pulled the gun and said, you, you, you want to preach, you don't have to be mentioned names else. <laughs> and so, these days, I don't mention names. So, so, so you cannot be, you cannot be a president that you will never be a clique. No, no, no. You have to become their boy. You have to become their big boy. Else you, you, won't, you won't have it. You are just a, a joker. And the Christian, Christians in America, they are not strong enough, powerful enough to nullify. So the devil is not scared in America. In fact, in fact the, last, the last meeting, is interesting, listen to this, the last meeting, <laughs> it's long term, I think the last, or the last back two, back, last back one or last back two, Two meeting that I went and I stopped. They said at that time uh, Soviet Union was there, U USSR, and they said in this world they have two super pa pa powers. Now the USSR SSR belongs to them, so they are towing their line because there was no Bible. You can't go and preach in Russia, and you remember, you can't go and preach in Russia. You can't go and Talk Jesus, no Bible. So they have brought a petition to Guru. Guru means Satan. That the Americans are becoming so noisy and so liberal. So they should destroy the, the powers of America. They should punish them. I was there. Do you understand? Like Western... They allow the, the, the scripture. So the, the, the word of God was, is growing in America. But in the Eastern Bloc, like Soviet, you, were not, you can't go and preach there. So they were comfortable with them. But they were afraid that their plans will be destroyed by American Christians. So when they brought the petition, it's interesting. I still have some document they have kept for my children after that they will take it and i don't i don't want them to publish them whilst whilst i'm alive <laughs> it's too sensitive <laughs> then then they said they said they want to teach america lesson because they will not listen if they allow America to continue with the, with, the, with the word of God. Light will come to Africa. Light will come to Africa. And when light comes to Africa, it will take more time for them to govern the whole world because they want to have cashless world. Do you understand? Cashless. So if they allow Americans to continue with the word, they will, the Africa will be enlightened. At that time, I didn't, I didn't understand. So it took them, so they said, okay, they are going to take about 30 years, 40 years to break one arm of America. All that I'm telling you, I've, I've documented, it's there. But I told you, as like I said, I want to wait. <laughs> I want to wait. So they want to try and weaken or threat or to, to threaten America. So it took them, so one of the ways, one of the strategy they took was that they would also raise false preachers and false prophet, prof, prophetess. And number one thing that they, they agreed on that day was to make sure that the divorce rate in America becomes more. At least two Americans, there's one, there should be a, one person divorced. 
Yes. Now, divorce, let them tell you, weaken the spiritual vitality of a nation and of the people. Because according to the, the, the scriptures, marriage was instituted by God himself, not any, anybody, not any angel. He himself instituted the marriage in the Garden of Eden, supervised the marriage. So it is God's eye when it comes to marriage. And he says, I hate divorce. So as later that I was, he says, then the thing we have to start doing is that we have to get the American people to stop their husbands and to stop their wives. So I was there when that law was passed. So that day, 15 million demons were released to fight for, were released. And they have to do that for 40 years before it can finally take effect on America. So what has happened, the divorce rate in America, Africa, we know, I know why America is like la, 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 that. 70s. So these demons were re re released. Uh, 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 I remember in the first three years, the demons came back because the fire here was so powerful in in 70s. They could not achieve their their aim. So they, they, they came back for strengthening. They were strengthened again and with a new uh, 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 strategy. So they came back again. Now it has taken them 70, 80, 90, 2000, 40 years. And that's what they said. So now it is very easy for Amer America. Americans can marry today and tomorrow we say I'm 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 fed up. I'm 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 fed up. I'm quitting. Then he 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 then he will quit. Seventies. <laughs> so I know that what has happened is not your fault, but it is early for me to stand and start talking. Like I told you, it's not your fault. It's it it was planned in the seventies to break one arm because there was no way anybody can attack America in the 70s. So powerful, so strong because the, the, the Christianity was raw, undiluted word of God, pure man of God, biblical teaching, biblical principles. So there was no way you could have attacked. So what they did was that to weaken. Then if the nation is being weakened, it, uh, remember, a sin, it brings reproach to a nation. And righteousness also exalts a nation. So they'll have to bring a sin to plant sin in America. And over the years, so many things will come. And I was there when Molech, Molech is in charge of fashion and nudism. And people expose themselves for fun and for money. Molech is the spirit that controls that area. So Malek also raised her hands and said, okay, I will also cause them to be in love with fashion. 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 So Malek also supported it. Then Jezebel and Asumodi also said, okay, then we will also, we will also make sure that something like lesbianism and gay would be so strong and powerful, but they should promise them that they will give them wealth to give to the, the, the lesbians so that they can also become so powerful to the extent that they can even adopt babies. It was, it was on my record. 70, if I show you, you'll be surprised. So they agreed that they are also going to give them wealth. So whoever will become a gay or a lesbian, he will be rich. And then they will now manipulate them to do what they want uh, to do. So all this that I'm talking did not happen today. It, it has already happened in the realms of the spirit. But the sad thing is that how many people know this? Uh, yes. And there's no way I will have a chance to, like Africa to stand on the national television, expose it, and destroy it. No way. The reason why Africa we are safe is that because some of us were, it's not me alone. A lot of us have become born again. So when we group, 
we come against their strategy. So we, the national te television has, has, has been given to us every year. Our Thanksgiving is different. The, the very first day I go to America, they say Thanksgiving. I thought we were going to pray the whole day. Then I started seeing people were eating with their turkey. I asked Washington, I said, when are we going to have the Thanksgiving? So this is the Thanksgiving. I said, your Thanksgiving is eating? Hey, my goodness. <laughs> In Africa, when we say Thanksgiving, the whole day we all met at the Independence Square, the whole nation. Every state will do that. And the whole day, from, including the president, from 6 o'clock to 6 o'clock, nobody eat. And we put on sackcloth and cry and cry and cry. Now you are sitting here eating and telling me that this is Thanksgiving. <laughs> you see? So, so, so it is not the fourth. Then, number two, they said apart from a divorce, they also have to still do something to hurt the nation because they are promoting the, 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 the Christianity so much to the extent that Christians don't even pay taxes. It was, a, it was something that they, they discussed. Uh, tax exams. Seventies. Americans are so, even to a sense that Christ, Christians, churches don't pay taxes. It was debated there. Some say no. They have to. Some say no. Some say, and you see, the Americans don't want us to have upper hand. You see that even Christian churches, they don't pay taxes. It means Christianity will in increase. So to, to punish America, they said every 10 years, something major should happen to them. Now, as I'm telling you, if you like begin to watch 1980, it started in 1980, 10 years, something extraordinary happens. Then the last 10 years, it will happen probably every two years or, or every year or every three years because now the gospel is being watered down. So the power is not there. So they can afford to not do it every year or every... That's why Katrina and Tsunami has been introduced to this nation. Uh -huh. So we were there. So the thing was organized not today. And like I, I, I told you, self-destruction... Any destruction that takes place in somebody's life or a nation, the people are involved directly or indirectly. Like what happened at the, in, 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 in 9 11. You see, Muslims are one of the highest courts in the mid Middle East. They are one of the highest dangerous courts you can ever think of. High powered witches and high powered wizards and high powered courts. Don't joke with them if you're not strong. The Middle East. Don't joke with them at all, like uh, Arabs. Don't joke with them at all. They are high-powered courts. And so if, if, if they really, if the, the Satan wants to use them, because they are, their religion is satanic, so it becomes very easy for Satan to employ them to do anything at all. Now let me tell you how 9/11 was able to, to was was so, so, so successful. Now I've told you that every programming is being done in the second he heaven. When they finally approved to allow the destruction to take place, they will have to look for something that is very familiar with the person. Now, in America, they will have to look at something that is very, very, something that everybody says it. So, so, so they say, in, in America, what did they say? Okay, what did they say? Or what did they say? Okay, okay, then, okay, then, then okay, everybody calls 911. America, everybody calls 911. Ambulance, sick, everybody. So it means, a day, we can get about at least 500,000 Americans to call 911. Okay, then, then, then let's now program what they will say. Because, you see, if you, go to, if, if you are arrested, they will say you have the right to make silent or whatever you will say, it will be used 
against you. That is how it is. So now they program the 911 call. So anytime you call the number, indirectly, you are now inviting the destruction. Anytime you call the number, you bring the destruction. Anytime you call the number, it comes. So the more you call, the faster it comes. And it will come at the, at the exact time, 9. The 9th was September, isn't it? 11th September. So you see you have the 9, and you have the 1, and you have the 1. So as you people were calling 911 for ambulance, 911 for whatever it is, 911 is, you were just bringing the disaster upon your head. Now on the, listen, that September, you people were not watchful like you have seen. Now in, in New York, all the Muslims who were selling there were not coming. But it was, you, you people didn't notice, in New York, and wh wherever the, the thing happened, Muslims there were, were not going to work again. Because they knew. They've told them that this is what they have, they've, 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 uh, they've done. But like I said, because it is watered down, God could not reveal to any man of God. In, our, in our Africa, we always cry that all oh, the big, big churches and the men of God making hallelujah. God, because God says he will not do anything without revealing to his. Yes. So we are now surprised. That is why we don't even want any American preacher to come and preach in our church because we are, we are surprised. So these things, so nobody could see what was happening, coming, to be able to stop it in the spirit. It's dangerous. It means that the gospel has really gone down to the bottom and it is dangerous to the people of America and to the nation because it takes the righteous people to save a nation. Like, like, like God said, he says, if you, I go to the Sodom and Gomorrah, and even I can find ten righteous men, for the sake of the ten righteous people, I will spare. So it takes righteous people to save the nation. So are you saying that all the pastors and all the prophets and all the prophetess and all the so God could not even speak to anybody. Now, when the gospel is being watered down, when things begin to enter into the house, house of God, it closes your ears. Even when God speaks, you don't hear. And it's dangerous. But before I, I came over, I had, uh, I had 60 people from New Zealand, 60 white people. They, 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 came, they came to live with us for one month to learn the deliverances and to learn the manifestation of the Spirit and how they behave and to learn so many things. And when we were finished and they were going, they left a week, I also came. Then when we were at the hotel, I took Dr. Holiday there. We have one nice international hotel, very beautiful. So I took them there. They were about 60. Now when I asked them to, whoever has anything to say, he says, Bishop, if we can get about even 10, 10 of you in the world, New Zealand, even one, like I, I believe that that the revival and the spirit of God will return to the churches because it is getting bad. Now, like I said, they have succeeded over the years, has contaminated and polluted even the churches. Dogs live in the churches. So your eyes are not opened. So you don't even see what is going on. I, I even... TBN, I don't even watch it here. I don't have time. Because the TVs are there, the DVDs are there, the computers are there, everything is there. You know what? Before coming here, God told me that a, a, a time will come, he will not even allow me to use a phone, let alone a website. I said, why? He said, yes. He told me. He says he will not allow me to use a phone. I will not I can never be tracked down. He told me. He says he will not allow me to use a phone. Let, let alone having an email 
I, I, I address. This is how bad it is. Yes. He says, you will not use phone again. You will not use, you just remain there. <laughs> and I know some of you will say why, but probably later the Lord will tell you why. You see, because the contamination and the pollution is, becoming, is increasingly becoming so big that even men of God are always polluted that the phone takes half of their time. Half of their time. I'm telling the truth. So, yes, so when you, they speak, you don't hear. How come that a nation like America, God could not reveal to anybody? When we think about it in Africa, we cry to the extent that the thing will happen before we pray. No, Prevent, prevention is better than kill. But because of con a, a contamination, because of pollution, we won't we won't we won't, we won't listen. You, you see, so 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 the devil is actually working, and you need to learn. Uh, Augusta people came last year. Augusta, there are about fifty of them also came to. To, to me, you know, a lot of people come from uh, uh, Britain, from China, Christians. They come and learn de deliverances. They also came. When we finished, they also spent about two months. When we finished, they were weeping. They said, we, we, we thought we were on top, but we have come to the bottom. Because what, happen what is happening in America, at times I get scared. I'm telling you the truth. And Jesus is coming very, very soon. Very, 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 very soon. Yes. Because the laws of the land has entered into the house of God that the word of God has become weak. You can't enforce the word of God. You can't, because he will tell you, that is my life. <laughs> when you try to enforce the word of God, the government will tell you it's abuse. Yes. It's my phone. Who is doing that? That's what I said, though, you see. You see, you can't enforce, you can't enforce the word. Because if you enforce the word of God, yeah, they will tell you it is abuse. They will even stop that. They will even stop the church and they won't come again. But let them tell you. If you don't repent and you stop the church, the thing that made you stop will follow you wherever you go. You see, so there is a problem. We don't know how to solve it in America. Yeah, I, I believe God will bring a very radical, radical something just to put the church back on his feet. Yes, that's the only thing God can, can do. That's the only thing he can do to save the church. But diplomatic, it will not. So he would, he would allow, he would bring a radical, he would probably, he would just be killing, he will do something radical for, so that fear can enter. You see, when the Spirit of God, when the fear of God comes upon the nation, there will be a, a, a revival. So I, I believe you, because he won't sit down for his church to, 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 to do like this. So I believe he will bring a very radical shaking. Bam, 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 bam. Then, then fear. So when that fear comes, there will be a genuine revival. Then he will begin to pick his people again. So that is how it is. By the grace of God, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you, you will hear more. But all that I'm saying is that God is real and if we follow him, we will never be disappointed. Appointed. Put your hands together for Jesus. Now let's go to star. I want to talk about star. I want to talk about star is another uh, demon from uh, water world. Star is a marine spirit. Star. Spell for them. Star. S T A R. Star. S T A. This is a star. How many of you uh, read your stars on the papers or something? He said, this is, this is my star. Do you still do it? No. Uh-huh. How many of you? 
you will follow your star. You said, yes, it's a Capricorn and Jupiter. Do you, do you, do you still do, do these things? <laughs> it, it is no good at all. And I want to talk about star, how the devil is using this demon to really torment people. So now I want you to listen very, very carefully. Huh? Stars are the symbol of marine authority over an area. Over an area. Star is a, a symbol of marine authority over an area. Now, you know we have a, 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 a territorial demons. A territorial demons is under a star. It's a very, very powerful and a very strong and stubborn spirit. It, have, it controls over an area. So all the demons, the territorial demons and the small, small demons that are there are under this demon. Now, as I'm teaching, you would realize that there are certain, certain areas they don't see progress. That people living there don't see progress. Pro, uh, progress, poverty, striking, or that area is full of drugs, or that area is full of um, uh, uh, murder and, and, and things. Now, when, they, when he, he, he bounds you to himself, he gives you something to do, and that thing that you do is always bad. So you see that they will tell you that the whole area is drug area. Don't go there. Now, the marine or the star marine, which is the authority over that area, has succeeded using their character to bind them to himself. So everybody live in that area, sell drugs, violent area. Or an area is poverty, where you live, is 100% poverty. You know, poverty is a spirit. And the demon in charge of the demons who controls greed, selfishness, and poverty is called Mormond. Mormond is a spirit that controls satanic storehouse. Mormon is golden. And he has a facial mark. He has four marks here. He has four, four marks here. So, this demon controls an area. He binds the people to himself depending upon what he wants the people to do. So at times, somebody can even tell you that this area is drug. Having to hurt, they say this area is drugs. Have you, have you, have you, have you yes. Yes. Or oh, this area, they are all prostitutes. Or oh, this area is poverty stricken area. Or oh, they can even they can even live in the United States, have equal chance, equal opportunity. But because he lives in that area, the demon will blind their eyes. They cannot take their ch chances. So poverty will be their portion. Tonight, if you live in such areas, poverty can never be your portion. You will come out in the name of Jesus. So he controls an area. It is, it is a headquarters symbol. And I'll be I'll be talking, I'll be using some of the demonology terms and deliverance terms small, small. It is a headquarters sim symbol. So star is a demon, or uh, is, is an authority that controls an area. And when star is controlling an area, that area can be poverty-stricken area. They will, know, they will never see development. Or it can be that the drugs... Or it can be that the homosexuals, or it can be that gay, or so kind of things. Or those who are living there are drunkard, or those who are living there are smokers. I mean, he controls an area, and that area, nothing good will come out of there. That place. Even if there are churches there, the, church, the churches will be affected. Amen. Uh -huh. It is a headquarters symbol. Yeah, it is a headquarters symbol. Let me explain this to you. <laughs> It is a headquarters symbol. It means star is the only symbol that is represented in the throne of Satan. A apart from 
uh, Baalzebub. Baalzebub is the only demon who has access to the throne because of its rule. And star is a headquarters symbol. The headquarters is the throne of Satan. And it is being recognized there. And as I'm teaching, you will see how it behaves. Amen. Uh-huh. Amok mm -hmm. has three stars. Now, Amok, how many of you know Amok? It's an occult. Amok is one of the highest cults in the whole world. Now, Amok, it has only three stars. But star has seven stars. Now, star is higher and powerful than Amok. Now, interesting. If you don't know this demonology, you, you, you will not understand. But those of us who know deep, we know what is going on. Now, Amok people serve this demon. It's, it's a cult. And people give their soul, people sacrifice to this demon. This demon, people consider it as a very powerful demon. It only has three stars. Star has seven. And, and if you are familiar with Amok, or Lansen Rampa, or Resecution, or Freemason, or Old Fellows, you, you know what I'm talking about. Now, missionary, like Old Fellow, uh, Old Fellow, Freemason, they are being controlled by a demon called Belia. Belia is in charge of all missionary, magical acts. He is in charge. You see, if you go to the book of Corinthians, they'll tell you what has Belia got to do with Christ. What concord has Belia? Yeah, Belia is the spirit behind all lodges, magical acts, resurrection, and etc., etc. So Amok is under Belia, but it has a three star, while uh, a star has seven. Uh huh. But Marine has seven. Yes, but M Marine Star has seven. Now, you will not understand what I'm talking about. But when you finish, I will give you time to ask a question, if you have a question for me. And I will explain it further. When we talk about stars in the realms of the spirit, it means you are, you are dealing with princip principalities. Stars are referred to only principalities. They are so powerful and so high. Our politicians go there to take these powers for so many things. And as I'm teaching, you will get to know that if you have a star, something happens. That is why the demon was trying to bring it to the individual level so that you can have a star and say, this is my star. The Bible says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Uh -huh. All the seven are complete in, in Africa. Uh, yes, in Africa. Uh -huh. Victims of higher marine uh -huh. demons uh -huh. have stars on, on their, their forehead. forehead. Now, victims of the higher marine demons have stars on their forehead. Now, how do you become a victim of a higher marine? You want power. You want money. You want influence. You want success. You want protection. That is where you become a victim of a higher marine spirit. Now, marine spirit has been grouped into di di different categories. Plenty. Now, the grandmother of all m m marine spirit is, 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 is there. Is there. I will not talk, talk about that, that, but we have the grandmother of all marine spirit. He's called Manati. Manati, Manati is the mother, the grandmother of all marine demons. Now we have groups. Apart from that, we have some are higher than others. Now the higher marine victims, they have star on their forehead. Now, I'm going to tell you what does that star on their forehead do for them. I'm going to tell you. Uh -huh. It makes them glamorous. It, it makes them glam, glamorous. Mm -hmm. 
in the eyes. In, yes, in their eyes. Uh -huh. It makes them bold. It also makes them bold. Uh -huh. Seductive. Seductive. And clairvoyant. Clairvoyant. Mouths. Mm -hmm. It enables them to speak. To speak. With authority. With authority. And effectiveness. And effectiveness. So, so the politicians go for certain. It makes them to speak with boldness, effectiveness, with authority. So poli politicians go for this. Celebrities also go for this. And all kinds of people. Now, as, if you go to them for help, what they will do is that they will give you that marine. It makes you clever. And you can even say something that is true. That, that is why the, Bab, the, Bab, the Bible says we should check all the prophecy, whether it, is, it comes from the word. And you don't have to be excited in anything that you see. If it does not conform with the word of God, please don't buy it. The source is what you need to know. Where does it come from? Not what you have seen. Because if you want to follow what you see, then you will find yourself.